title of the first section is graphing parabolas. First equation is y equals 2, open parentheses, x minus 3 squared plus 4. This equation is in standard form from the previous definition, where we have a, h, and k. First step is to find the vertex. For the vertex, the x value would be inside the parentheses next to the x. The minus sign is already part of the standard form, so the x value would just be 3. And the y value would be k, the number outside, which would be 4. So the vertex would be 3, comma 4. For the direction, would either be up or down. And we look at the a value, which is the number in front of the parentheses. If this number is positive, then the direction of the parabola would be up. And the last part is the distance of foci and directrix. And the equation is 1 over 4a, which would be 1 over 4 times the number in front of the parentheses, which would be 1 over 8. From here, after we have the vertex, the direction, and the distance of the foci and directrix, we can draw the graph to graph the parabola. The vertex would be at 3, 4. The direction would go up. So we'll sketch a parabola going through the vertex, pointing up. For the foci and directrix, the foci is a point inside the parabola. 1 eighth means from the vertex will go up the fraction 1 eighth and put a single point. For the directrix, it's a dashed line underneath the parabola or outside. And again, this distance would be 1 eighth down. And we'll draw a dashed line 1 eighth down from the parabola. The definition of the foci and directrix is any point on the parabola is the same distance from the foci as it is from the directrix. And that would be the graph for the equation. Second question and last question for this section. x equals 1 half y squared. This equation is also in standard form. If you wanted to, you can put parentheses around the y value. And there's no number at the end, but you can put a plus 0 for the value at the end. The x and the y are flipped for this one, which we'll see in just a minute. That'll change the direction of the parabola. First part is to find the vertex. The vertex, the x value, is normally inside the parentheses, but since the x and y switch, the x value would be the number outside the parentheses, which would be 0. And the y value, again, standard form would be the number at the end, but since x and y switched, the y value would be the number inside the parentheses. If there's no number there, it would be a 0. Find the direction. Normally, again, parabolas either go up or down. Since the x and y values are switched, now the parabolas will either open to the right or open to the left. If a is a positive number, it will go in the positive direction, which would be to the right. If it was a negative number, 
then the direction will go to the left. And the distance of the foci and directrix. Would be 1 over 4a. a against the number outside the parentheses, which would be 1 half. Half of 4 would be 2, so the distance would be 1 half. To graph this, we can draw the xy axis. The vertex would be in the middle at 0, 0. The direction goes to the right, so instead of either going up or down, the parabola would open to the right. And the foci and directrix, again the foci would be a point inside the parabola, and the directrix would be a dashed line outside the parabola. If the distance is one half, we'll have a point that's one half units inside the parabola, and the directrix would be outside one half in this case, the directrix goes up and down. And again, the definition of the foci and directrix, if you take any point on the parabola, any point is the same distance from the foci as it is from the directrix. Titled next section and last section today is graphing circles. First equation in parentheses x minus 3 squared plus second parentheses y minus 1 squared equals 25. This is in standard form for circles, where you have x and y on the same side, both to the second power, and it's equal to a number. The center for the circle, the x value would be the opposite of the number in the x parentheses, which would be 3, and the y value would be the opposite of the y number, which would be positive 1. And the radius for the circle, the number it's equal to, you take the square root of, so the radius would be 5. To graph a circle, you can draw the xy axis. We'll do the center first, which is at 3, 1. The radius of 5 means it's 5 in every direction. To graph a circle, from the center we can go up 5 spots. And also from the center, we can go down five spots. And again, from the center, we can go to the right five spots. And last part from the center, we can go to the left five spots. So from the center, you go in every direction five spots. Once you have those four points, you can connect them to make a circle shape. And that would be the graph of the equation. Next equation and last equation for the problem is x plus 2 to the second power 
plus y squared equals 9. Again, this is in standard form. We have x and y squared on the same side and equals a number. If you want to, you could put parentheses around the y value. The center. The x value again will be the opposite of the number in the x parentheses, which will be negative 2. And if there's no number next to y, the y value would be 0. The radius, again, is the number it's equal to, but you take the square root of that number, so the radius would be 3. To graph the circle again, draw the xy axis. We'll graph the center first at negative 2, 0. And from the center, we'll go up, down, left, and right. The radius is 3. So we'll go up 3 spots, down 3 spots, to the right 3 spots, and to the left 3 spots. Once you have those four points, you can connect them to make a circle. And that would be the graph of the equation.